Yesterday we rehomed another beautiful, beautiful girl. She is so lovely and we've had loads of videos sent to us already that she is proper settling in and getting such a fuss made of her, which is beautiful. But she's stunning. Oh, miss her already. She's such a chatterbox as well, but she has gone to a lovely home, which is amazing. We are off to do the night feeds. So basically we have to every night do night feeds. Uh, feeding doesn't finish when um, when the day finishes. Yes, Maximus! Did you hear that? If you heard that, that is Maximus saying I'm ready for my dinner. Thank you. Look, there he is, and here's his best friend Archie over there. And uh, so he's ready for his dinner. So if you just want to follow me, I'm going to show you what I do for night feeds. So, he's coming, Maximus! So basically, so we do, Maximus has his dinner, and he's very vocal about his dinner. So Maximus has a slop because he is not allowed to eat dry food. So he has um, all his food in a mush and he also has his hay soaked. He can't have dry hay. So everything is wet for Maximus. And that's because of his different conditions that he's got. Um, once Maximus has been fed, he gets locked up. So, have you got a padlock? Absolutely. Have you got a key? I have indeed. Do you know you can do it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll put sure. So then what we have to do, once he's had his, I've got to do um, Archie and Frankie. And then they all get a fresh slot made up ready for the morning. So Archie has, is it? Archie also has to have a slot because Archie's 43 years old and doesn't have any teeth. So Archie has to have a slot of soup. What he has, let's just give it a stir. This is Archie's dindins. So look, it's just like a like a soup, like a gravy. But that is actually a thing called hay cobs. So what it is, it's almost like a liquid form of hay. So he can eat loads of this and it's not bad for him. Um, but what we do is he ends up with three or four bowls of this overnight. So it keeps him going right the way through the night. Because um, horses need to eat constantly to keep their stomachs working. Um, so, Archie Bombarchi. <laughs> Here he is, he's the Bombarchi. <laughs> Have you eaten your dinner from earlier? Most of it. Okay. So he's eaten those two. There's a little bit left in there, so I'll leave that. You could breathe. You've eaten that one. The owls are near Frankie, so we do owls and Frankie at the same time. Um, can you even see me? <laughs> you can't hold me. This is why I wear this big head that everyone laughs at, but it's actually the best thing in the world, this head talk. It's just my kids' eyes. I don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> my nose is here. My nose is here. There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good, boy. Good boy. Don't spit it all oh, over the floor. Just eat it. Where's yeah. the have. Ours have uh, frozen mice that have been defrosted. Godric has a whole pack of ten. And then Eleanor and Mags have a whole pack of ten between them. So, and they have that every night. Um, sometimes we swap Godric's for um, rats. Sometimes they have chicks, but the mice and rats are much better for them than chicks. Great. Woo! I see you! Oh, Here. Mags. I love Mags. She's the cutest. So then I just spread the mice out on the table so that he can come and pick one off at a time. Go closer. Okay, Go closer. Mm. Is it focused? Yeah. Show his feet. Hey, goddess. Look at his talons. Look at his talons. Godric. Ooh. Ooh. You beautiful boy. He says, oh, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> 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 Max will come and grab one. Mate, hey, come. Money yeah, come. Yeah. See ya? Yeah. Did you get that? Did you get that? Oh, she landed on me. You still got her mouth? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Yeah, she's got it. Look, look, look. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing with these two, they're a bit silly. Look, look, look. She's got the mouse in her hand. You're all right, Mags. You're all right. Good girl, you got your dinner. What you got, Mags? Hey, goddess. What you got, Mags? Yeah. She loves a head stroke. She loves it. Oh, she's so beautiful. So these little feathers here on her, on the tops of their beaks, when they're babies and their mums are trying to get them to eat, their mums stroke these feathers and stimulate these feathers and that makes them eat, right? So a bit of knowledge for you. If you've ever got an owl that won't eat or that needs to eat, that's ill or dehydrated or whatever, if you stimulate these feathers, it will encourage them to eat. So you get a mouse and put it by their beak or whatever, or a chick, and you stimulate these little feathers and that will encourage them to actually eat. Which I've used that trick many a time with a poorly barn owl or tawny owl or whatever. <laughs> She's so beautiful. Oh, look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. Right, so in here we have reptiles, There's snakes, um, dragon, hedgehogs, quails. Nice. <laughs> Are you filming? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we all we do is we check they've all got enough food and hedgehogs. Jack, pass me the hedgehog food, please. I need a bit more. Oh, those boys are well That fat little bum sticking out. Fat little bum bum. Oh, that's the, that's um, how snake has literally just shared its skin. So that's so that's, that's No, that's this one. Bum bum. Uh, so that is, he's literally just shared. I love snake skin. So we always keep all these bits of skin just because it's fun. There's the hedgehogs in there. These are going outside soon when it's warm enough. They'll be going outside. So we've got two boys in there. Thank you, Jack. Okay. They've got enough. Oh, top their water. Yeah. They're a little quiet. You need some more. Yeah, look at Thumper. Look at Thumper watching. So then what we do is we collect all the quail eggs. Oh we collect all the quail eggs. Pass down a little tray jack, please. And what we do is we feed all of these to the meerkats. That's just one day. And that's well. just one day, yeah. They're weeny, look, they're smaller than a Cadbury's mini egg. <laughs> quail eggs. These are button quail eggs, not normal quail, so. These got dumped on us a few weeks ago, and there it's too cold for them to go outside at the moment, hence why they're in here. As soon as the weather warms up, they'll go outside into a nice big enclosure. Right, so what we do is I now have to make up um, feed for the morning. So Archie, Maximus and Frankie all have to have their feed made into a slot. Um, Archie and Frankie, it's because they're old and don't have many teeth and also um, like other health conditions due to being old. And then Maximus, um, he had a fungal plaque and he's had operations and stuff and um, sometimes Maximus's food comes back out of his nose so we have to be just really, really careful. So basically all three of them have slot food, which is you do the feeds and then you fill them up with water. And you put the lid on so that no mice can get in. <laughs> so 
So by the time we come to feed in the morning, these will all be ready to stop. And they'll be ready to be fed straight to them. And then Frankie and Archie also have medicine put into their food. So um, it's quite good because the medicine just gets hidden in the slot. Um, So that is their food. No, we have a leaking bucket. That is not their food. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. We take some blueberries for the meerkat. And we take chicken. And we take a bib. And what we do is these are the chicks that we've defrosted the night before. So these are now ready to eat. No, Manic, they're not for you. And all the chicks go into here because these are for all the animals out the back. Then we have to get out more chicks to defrost for tomorrow. So what we do is we count them out. We get out two packets of mice. Because at the moment, Godric's having mice, not rats, just because we like to change it up. Don't give them the same thing all the time. And then we get out 35 chicks. So we have to count them out. Now these are all frozen solid and uh, it's not fun. Okay. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, two, and three. So they get left there to be fostered overnight, so they're then ready for tomorrow night's food. Um, and we have a dedicated fridge for each thing. So this is a freezer that is just for the mice and chicks and rats. This is a fridge that is just for fruit and veg, nothing else. And this is a fridge and freezer that's just for raw chicken. So raw meat, fruit and veg, chicks. So then we've got the quail's eggs for the meerkats. We've got the chicks for everybody out there. We've got raw chicken and we've got blueberries. And Manic, you're not having any of it. Actually, you can have to <laughs> You see what I mean? I don't think people realise how much money it costs to do this because we have to buy raw chicken, fruit and veg. Like we do get deliveries of fruit and veg from um, Celtic Angels and they're amazing but of course they only do certain types of fruit and veg so like whatever's left over so and we need specific things so like the meerkats their favourite fruit is a blueberry mm. you know if we haven't been given any I've got to get dog food if we haven't been given any blueberries then we have to buy them and of course we don't get given blueberries so um Oh, I need Mario's as well, wait there. See, this is how loaded up I get, you'll see, it's funny, wait. Wait. So, we have chicken, dog food, Mario worms, chicks, blueberries. Oh, Manic's excited. <laughs> Manic's always excited. I'm just going to pop that up there while I do meerkats. So these lot will pretend they're in bed, but they're not. <laughs> this is what they do every night. It's the, so we'll all pretend to be asleep, but as soon as mum puts the food out, we'll all run out and grab it. <laughs> yeah, we have this game every night, don't we? Come on in. So these are Mario's. There's Mabel. Where's that Mabel? <laughs> Oh, you've got a bit of paper with that one. Tasty. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and then we'll get um, some blueberries because they love them. Manic, get back. Come here, Mosh. Good boy. Good boy. And then we'll give them these eggs. Which. No, get uh, back, uh, Manic. Come here. Come here. Sit. Good boy. There's an egg somewhere. Good boy. Yeah. Right, so what we do is we crack the eggs. Because in 
unless the meerkats can smell the egg inside, they won't bother to crack these open. They'll just play with them. So we crack them open and they will come and get them. And they love the eggs. They're actually easy to crack, isn't they? Don't yeah. you? I was surprised with that. But they're, but they're weird meerkats because they will not crack an egg, they'll just play with it. <laughs> the second you crack it for them, they'll eat the whole inside of it and they quite like licking all the inside out. You know, like how yeah. a human would do a cream egg? Yeah. They'll it's cute that, little yolk, yolk in it as well. It's, it's tiny. It's so bad. It's quite like <laughs> licking all the inside out. <laughs> Go on. Hi, Flinty. Hi, Flinty. Hi, Flinty. There, you're all right. Good boys. You're all right. Hello, baby boy. You're man. Want check? Want to check? No? You don't want to check. So he's bit, Flinty goes off foods and then comes back on them and so basically at the moment all he's eating and all he's enjoying are these chicks. He was eating loads of raw chicken and all different things but he's gone off all of it and now he just wants chicks. So um, there you go, we'll take it then. Do you want it? No. You don't want it. You've got some friends coming soon Flinty. <laughs> So we're rehoming some more foxes um, to give him some company and they're two more very young foxes that cannot be released into the wild. They've been raised in captivity and actually one of them's had a serious brain trauma injury. Um, they can never be released. They're coming from another fox sanctuary and we're going to take them on here to give Flinty some company. Um, and we're extending his pen so that he's got a lot more space or they all have. What then, little boy? What? Well, what? What are you saying? Do you want a chick? Chick? No? Mummy. Good boy. You don't want a chick. You'll eat when I go, I know. Hello, baby boy. He's a funny boy. He's the most handsome fox I ever did see. He is. He's the most handsome fox I ever did see. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You're beautiful. Hayley gets a bit overexcited, as you can see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a big girl. Oh, Hayley, you are lovely. So, if you follow me in. Come on in. Come on in, Hayley. Hayley, Hayley. Let's go up here. Hayley likes to uh, right. Hayley likes to bury her. I'm not I'm gonna put this on the floor I think. Hayley <laughs> likes to bury her food in the straw. I'm gonna put that one on the floor for now because I cannot go and wash this bowl out right now. No, that one. That will fit on the top of it. There you go. There you go, Hope. <coughs> oh look, they're playing. <laughs> so look, 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 this is what they do, what? What? Can you see Manic here on the side of the fence? Yeah. Look, look, look. This is their nighttime exercise. So Haley and Manic run like loons up and down. Look, look, look. Best game ever. <laughs> look, 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 look. This is every night. And look at Flinty Fox is watching as well. Look, oh, look, look, yeah, look at zoomies. him. So then he starts doing zoomies. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hayley, you're beautiful. Hello. Look, 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 look Flinty. You see his over his money. Look, look, look. <laughs> 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 they they all night. play together, so not. Yeah. We make sure that everyone has water, fresh water. Which I've already checked Flinty, but basically. If they haven't got water, we fill up all their water, give it clean water. Um, they're checked in the morning as well. Up, mm. oh, minute. Okay. 
So then we go over here. I actually need to turn this up. Oh, hold on. Um, Manic. Yeah. So because she can't fly, she can never be released. Good boy. Um, so hence why she's, but she's now got this massive enclosure all to herself. It is Thank huge. You. Come and get your chicks. Three chicks, no, four chicks. <laughs> 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 That's the raccoon dog having a go at Manic. <laughs> Get close, come in, come in a second. You're beautiful. Yeah, so she cannot fly. This is... And these have... Chicks! Well, they're having chicks tonight. They have different food. So they have a lot of different food. Don't worry about that, I'll just shove this on the handy. Yeah. These guys have a lot of different food. Hello boys. Hello boys. Hello boys. Oh, you're my best boys. You're my best boys. I love you. Here you go, and then what I do with the chicks is I throw them all around the pen so that they have to go and find them. It just makes it a bit more interesting for them. Because when they have dog food, they just have it in their bowl. But of course with the chicks, you can sort of chuck them everywhere and it means they've got to go and find them. Look, look, look. So, Reggie, when you give him tripe, he rolls on it. Watch, watch, look. That's him rolling on his tripe. Hi, Reggie. Because they like the smell of it, so they roll on it and put it all over their coat. Don't you, you funny boy. What? Are you not going to roll on it now, said it? Oh. oh. Where are you going, Reggie? Reggie, where's your tripe? Go and get your tripe. Look, 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 here he goes. Watch. No, he's having to do it. Reggie, go and roll on your tripe. Go on. Look, look. Go on, you're so beautiful. So these guys are an invasive species. Um, you are not allowed to keep these as pets without a license, or you're not allowed to release them into the wild. You're not allowed to breed them, buy them, sell them. Um, they can only come to people like us, like rescue centers or pet homes, but you um, have to inform Natural England, you have to, it's like a whole protocol involved in um, keeping these guys um, because they're an invasive species. They come from Japan. Their name, everyone calls them raccoon dogs because they, they're dogs that look like raccoons. But they're actually, um, uh, their actual name is Tanuki and they're bred for their fur so they get skinned alive. Oh. And people use their fur, you know when you see them horrible uh, woolly bobble hats with a big fur pom-pom on yeah. the top. You see babies wearing them a lot, which really perturbs me. Mm. Um, but that big furry pom-pom, when it's real fur, which a lot of them are, it's these guys that they've got the fur from, they oh, skin them alive and use their fur for pom-poms. Absolutely hats. terrible. Yeah. <laughs> so, I can hear them growling already. <laughs> they growl at Manic, it's hilarious. Hi, Bubba. Oh, hello, the big fat thing. Hello. 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 Oh. Hello. So I always give the raccoons a little treat of Morio worms because they adore Morio Mor worms. Here you go, boy. Uh, he says, no, I'm more interested in the camera tonight. <laughs> Rufus! Rufus, you big silly. always Rufus. Always Rufus. Oh, he hand. is. Let's be ready for some worms. Here you go, girl. Yeah. There you go. I love their little hands, the way they pick the worms up with their hands. <laughs> it's too cute, look. Oh, yeah. So don't go too close to him when he's eating, because if he thinks you're trying to take his food, he will bite. Um, raccoons are also invasive, and same rules apply as raccoon dogs. Um, you can't buy, sell or breed these. Um, you can't 
um, keep them as pets unless they were a pet before 2016, I think it is, and um, you can't, um, you, have, you basically have to have a license to keep them. So um, we are very up on all our invasive species and our licenses, uh, same thing with Mint Jack, as you know we've got a license to keep Mint Jack as well. Yeah, it's coming. <laughs> I'm not going to go near you because you'll bite. You get very, very rude when it comes to food. <laughs> so I change up their food all the time. Sometimes they have cheap dog food like this. Other times they have very, very expensive dog food. And it's a bit like humans. They get fed up of the same food over and over again. Same as we would if we had to eat the same thing every night, even the good stuff. Oh, damn, I can't get out. Now I'm stuck. Why did I do this? Oh, Mama! Such long. Why did I do this? Papa. Hello, help! Right, how can I open this door? And it doesn't work. Yes, come down. Come down because you've got worms. Come on. Oh, you know that is it called cuteness aggression? Yeah. Where you like you something so cute you want to squeeze it or bite it. That's yeah. how I feel about Rufus. And he he's quite aggressive when it comes to food and stuff. He's bitten me before. Like he's quite aggressive. And um, but he something about him makes me want to just go. Oh. Like I just oh, it's his fat little bum. It's like Maximus's no, no. ears for me. That fat little bum. Yeah. I just want to squeeze him. <laughs> Rufus, you've got worms up here. No, 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 don't you dare bite me. Don't you dare. He's so naughty, honestly. Got any itch? Yeah. Come on. No, 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 no biting. <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, good boy. So tonight, and again, skunks are similar to... Um, skunks are similar to some of our other animals in that... They don't have the same food every night. Um, skunks, we mix it up because they have they need all different types of food and different types of proteins and fats and whatever. So we mix up their food. So what I do with the skunks is tonight they're going to have apple and they're going to have little bit of cheese just for a treat because they love cheese that's only a treat though they don't get much cheese um and they're gonna have courgette right and be posh so skunks have different dinner every single night so they sometimes have nuts they sometimes have cottage cheese they sometimes have chicken they sometimes have worms they sometimes have chicks they have lots of fruit and veg and basically it gets mixed up every night to give them variation and also all the different dietary things that they need. Like a little bit of cheese. That cheese is well nice. Is it? <laughs> you wouldn't know that, I but yeah. I wouldn't know because I'm a vegan and I do not eat cow pus, <laughs> as I call it. This is cow pus. <laughs> Actually, I'll just carry that in with me. Right, so they're having worms, cheese, and their fruit and veg. That door shut, yeah. Cheese. So skunks are very, very messy. Entire has straw all over the floor. Um, well, there's one on the wheel, look, and they go in their exercise wheel every single night. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, the first ever exercise wheel I bought was for the cats, and then they wouldn't use it, so we ended up giving it to the skunks. And the skunks loved them so much, we ended up buying more wheels um, for the skunks. There you go. Uh, so all I've got to do now is um, feed the dogs. I've well, fed Haley and Hope, but I mean, I've got to feed Enzo, Manic, and Jeff and Wendy. And then everyone's done for the night. Um, Manic. So Manic can be a bit of a pest on the night feeds because he gets very excited but he comes with me on the night feeds obviously because he, he gets stressed if he can't see me so he has to be by my side. So, you're always with me aren't you Manic? Well you are. Come on guys. Jeff. Wendy. 
Wendy. Wendy. Beth and Wendy were found tied up in a barn on bits of string and they hadn't been fed for a week. They were emaciated, they were covered in fleas and ticks. Um, they were so, so, so skinny, they were like skeletons. And the only reason they were still alive is because they'd been drinking water out of a muddy puddle. And they were found, and I got the call, and um, there were six dogs found tied up in this barn on bits of string that had been there a week with no food. And all the other dogs were pretty dogs, like there was a Pomeranian and a Lurcher and like, you know, designer breeds, and they all got homes immediately. And the two that were left were Jeff and Wendy, and I got the call and said, will you take these two dogs? Um, and I said yes, and so I've had them ever since, and um, they're wonderful. He is such a good boy. Oh, I've been outside with him. Oh, <laughs> little shower. Wait, if we can have chicks. There they are. Oh, and good boy. Growing lad. You are. You're lovely, aren't you? Such a good boy. Ah, uh, sit. No. Come here. Good boy. Right, come back here. And can you see him from there or not? No. Yeah. Enzo, sit. Good boy. Well He's done. a good boy. Enzo will eat his dingdings there. And what we do is we leave him out for a bit so he can have a puppy. So Brian has just donated an amazing cat tree to us. And we are going to install it in the cat pen now. It is. Is this the same one? No. <laughs> the cat tree's on there. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, hi, Max. You're beautiful. Oh. Um, yeah, that, bless it. Guys, this one has um, fully done its course. It's pretty unstable now where the cats have scratched the actual um, it's been very loud. twiny stuff off. Right, it is literally going to fall over. <laughs> uh, Bob, we've, we've not actually installed it fully yet and you're already exploring. Hello, Jemaya. Oh, you're on the um, you're on the up a bit as well. Guys, you are too cute. Oh, look at a little lady up there. She's lovely. Magamu. Guys, we, we really haven't actually installed it properly yet. Pumpers, you all right there, Delin? Yeah, everyone excited. Brian, absolute winner already, mate. Yeah, we're only winning. You getting on, Max? She's thinking about it. Be careful. <laughs> that one's, that, oh, Rosie, don't you want to say gone. goodbye to the old one, Delin? Say goodbye. Gonna have a nice new one. Give Max a kiss. Oh, you're so beautiful. She's such a beautiful girl. Uh, um, oh. oh, she's gonna go up there. Oh, Quick, like, oh, before it goes. Never been up here before. Oh. oh, Max, that's your sleepy place, isn't it, darling? She's like, um. <laughs> so you'd actually think, wouldn't you, Roz, that they've never been bought any presents before. Look at them. I can't get the old ones in use, the new ones in use. Guys, we need to turn it. What's the way? Horizontal, because we need to get it through to the extension. Yeah. Um, and Maybelline. We're going to have to get off, Dally. Oh, Maybelline. Meow, meow. She says, no. Oh, oh, Geraldine. Geraldine. That's the wonky one. Oh, yep, yeah, you've taken that off to the maximum, haven't you, yeah, Dally? Yeah, we've done this one. Gently tip it. Oh, Rosie's on. Just Where's underneath. Rosie? Rosie, be careful. Oh, oh, Maybelline, oh, Maybelline. Maybelline. <laughs> Come on, darling. <laughs> oh, look at her where she's had her little clips done. Come on, Maybelline. Are you going on to the ledge? Maybelline, we got. Oh, Come on. Shall I try again? Off you get. Come on, That's Maybelline. It. Good girl. She's like, no. I'm there we go. Oh, good girl. Good girl. I Ready? think we're empty. We're done. We actually, me and Roz had to get a picture of how it 
<laughs> went together. But actually, it turns out, doesn't it, Ros, that it's... instead of lefty loosey, it was lefty tighty on this one. <laughs> Got but... in the end. Do you love it, Bogey? No, do you love it? It's brilliant. Rupert, are you going to get on? You're getting on, Rupert? Oh, well, that's a nice little noise. So she is in pillows. Thank you very much, Brian. Bobbers. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, look. Oh, he's gone right in. You want it, Bobs? Hiya. It's like, can I fit through that tiny oh, hole? Oh, uh, yeah. Rosie, Missed it's not out. looking good, darling. Oh, she's currently um, preoccupied. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Having a little wash. <laughs> oh, Geraldine's on. Oh, maybe if you've been on yet. Oh, uh. Oh, you are playing, I know, but it's a bit spiteful, Jemaya. <laughs> you never, ever come in the garden without being supervised by these two ladies. <laughs> they come over and they try and bite you. <laughs> but they're just doing their job.